Hello all, welcome to Cisco DNA series video. In this video, I'm going to watch, walk you through the QoS feature or application visibility. And if you feel QoS is complicated and it's, uh, it confuses you, you should see the DNA center, how it make it so simple. So to configure a QoS for your devices, uh, application visibility is now part of provision and services. Click on application visibility, configure and deploy. So here you can see these are all predefined application, 1400 application and 29 application set. Application set are uh, super set or, or grouping of these applications. So I'm going to create a new application set uh, for one of my site or a branch office and apply the QoS for that branch. I'm going to say my application set. I'm going to name it RTP 12 app set okay so your application set is created now this count goes to 30 now go back to um, applications And you can add application. If you have any particular application to add, you can add application. So I have a custom application running on server port. So this is my RDB12 app. Uh, you can actually define your application based on server name, port, or a URL like uh, www.cisco.com but I have an in internal traffic going on for this port. My overlay address protocol is UDP and this is sending traffic on 6055. You can say this, what kind of traffic it is similar to or you can say it's what kind of traffic it is. Is it a broadcast video or something? So yes, it's a UDP, so it's similar to broadcast video. Application set, choose your set, the set you configured. So I'm going to say the application set what we just created, RTP12 app set. So you are creating application and parking it under application set. Also application set and applications are configured. We can see the application incremented by one, 1402. So let's go and apply this. So to that, go to policy under application, application policies. I want to add one application, give it a name, RTP 12. policy and then add your policy so you can see that I have a unassigned application policy and then we are going to use CVD queuing which is direct Cisco standard this is for wired users and choose your site where you want to assign so I'm choosing RTP 12 that means for this site I want to assign this QoS policy and all the devices under this site, they will get this policy assigned. Okay, now let's find the app set. This is a part of this and I'm going to park it as a business relevant traffic. So uh, you can see that this is as per CVD, we have default and business relevant so I'm going to park it to business relevant traffic and then let's click on preview. So before you apply, you if you want to check, you can check what kind of configuration is going to push. So I'm going to click on preview. It will do background processing, show you on what devices it's going to apply the configuration. Click on generate. Based on the policy profile you have chosen, we have chosen CVD queuing profile 
and one of the custom application set, it is going to go ahead and generate the configuration. So it's doing all those backend processing and giving you the entire detailed QS, which we sometimes feel very intimated to. So you can see all the class maps, match criteria, policy maps, bandwidth, queuing, all those parameters are defined and applied to all the inter, uh, <coughs> interfaces. Now, if you hit deploy, it is actually go, gonna go ahead and push the configuration to devices. But uh, at this point of time, I don't want to push the configuration. Uh, so I'm just going to cancel it. But if you say deploy and apply, it is actually go ahead and push the configuration to your devices so that all your tra uh, tra uh, traffic hitting that uh, device will be queued as per your application policy. So, so this is so easy now to configure a complicated U uh, QS policy with using DNA Central. Thank you very much for watching the video.